So today's question is, there is no will. So what is a surviving spouse entitled to? Since the decedent, that's a deceased person, didn't leave behind any estate planning with direction. So this means that the spouse died intestate. Intestate literally is just a lawyer word that means without a will. So it's going to be the laws of the state of Arizona that are going to govern um, the organized means of distributing property. Every state has intestacy laws because you have to do something with the property and if the person didn't plan for it, then the law will have to step in and say, this is how it's going to be divided. The statute is very difficult to read and contains a lot of terms that most people would not use in their day-to-day -day life. Uh, it says that the intestate share of a surviving spouse as to both the separate and the community property, so it's governed by the same statute, is if there's no surviving issue or there are surviving issue, uh, all of whom are the issue of the surviving spouse, then the surviving spouse gets the entire intestate estate. If there are surviving issue, one or more of whom are the surviving or not the surviving issue of the surviving spouse, then the surviving spouse's share is gonna be one half of the decedent's separate property and none of the decedent's uh, community property. Again, the decedent is the person who died. So when you look at these terms in the statute, how, how do you define them? All right, so intestate estate means there was no will. So we're gonna be looking to the laws of Arizona to tell us how to divide up this estate. A uh, surviving spouse is the person that uh, the decedent, that's the deceased person, was married to at the time of death. Surviving issue. Issue are the decedent's living children. So under the statute, there are three possible scenarios for determining the surviving spouse's share. The decedent didn't have any children, then the surviving spouse will get the entire intestate share, intestate estate. If the surviving spouse uh, is married to the decedent at the time of death, they have to be married, no annulment, no divorces. They will get the entire intestate estate if the surviving issue, that means the surviving children, are children that there were in common with um, the decedent. If there are children who are not the issue or the children of the surviving spouse, then we go back to the surviving spouse is only gonna get one half of the decedent separate property and none of their half of the community property. So started the question with what is the surviving spouse entitled to? This statute doesn't tell you that because that's a decision to be evaluated in the intestate estate as to how the property was held. There could be beneficiary deeds that will determine where the house is going to go. Uh, there could be deeds with rights of survivorship that will determine where the house or other properties may go. Uh, there may be beneficiary designations. So that's a much longer question. All this statute does is give a starting point as to what the surviving spouse's share might be, not what they're actually going to inherit. And even if they were estranged from the decedent, if they're still the surviving spouse, they are going to be entitled to at least some of that intestate estate. So these are complicated issues. I would encourage someone in that situation to have counsel to evaluate and make sure that they're getting all they're entitled to. And on the other side, uh, making sure that the surviving spouse isn't getting more than they're entitled to. So do your estate planning. That's the best way to avoid this outcome and to have some say into what is gonna happen with your stuff when you pass away. Uh, I hope this was helpful for you. It was fun for me. Have a good day.